Hello once again. Today we're gonna solve uh, this uh, problem for general navigation. So we have uh, TAS, true airspeed 120, wind 245, 12 knots from 245, and actual heading 150. And they're asking us what is the wind correction angle. 6 right, 6 left, 12 right, 12 left. I see the percentage for this, the statistics are very low. Um, it's a very common mistake to, to make these mistakes between the wind correction and the drift. So let's, let's use a CRP5 initially to, to solve this uh, problem. So first of all, you put the true airspeed. I'm doing like a tutorial for those that haven't used it before, but I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this. So this is the center. You have to align this with 120. So you can see here it's 120 and then <clears throat> you have to put the wind this is the the CRP with the wind arm it's very very useful initially I didn't know how to use it and I, I felt it's it's not good because I wanted to put the, the cross here like like you do on the E6B for PPL and I was uh, upset <laughs> but then I realized it's it's so easy so I'm gonna use the wind arm now so the actual heading is 150, so we have to put here heading 150, align it with the true heading, yeah? and then the wind, the wind is 240, 245, so we look here, 245, this is 245, and we have to put, sorry, I'm just using one hand because I don't have a tripod, so 245, 245. And uh, we're using this one for the low low winds, and this is for the high winds. So basically, we're using the one for low winds. The wind is 12 knots, so we go here. This is 10, 11, 12, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 knots. So 12 knots is over here, right? So basically, this is the drift five, but we are here. So it's like 5.6. So six. 6 uh, is the drift to the left, all right? So, what is the wind correction angle? 6 to the right, because the drift is to the left, because we are drifting like this, but the correction is to the right. So, it's 6 right, the wind correction angle. It's a very common mistake, very simple one, but it, if you make this mistake, you get to a totally different result. So, final answer, 6 right, wind correction angle. Um, and uh, let's use the E6B as well, because some people, they might not have the CRP5. So again, true airspeed, we align it and we put it at 120. There we go, 120 right in the middle. Here we don't have the wind correction, uh, I mean the wind arm. So we, can, we have to put the wind first, so wind is at 245. So first you put the wind and then you mark the 12 knots, 12 knots, this is every, every line is 2 knots, so 2, 4, 5, this is 10, 12. So we make a mark here, a 12, and this is the 12 knots. Then we have to put the actual heading, 150, so we rotate this to 150, and then we read, this is 5. 6. So here every line is 2, so 2, 4, 6. 6 to the left is the drift. So what is the wind correction angle? Opposite to drift. So it's 6 right. I hope you understand this, uh, this simple general navigation question. Um, if you think it's helpful, please uh, like the video, ask any questions in the, in the comment section. Follow, the, follow me on Instagram, Insta, Instagram uh, profile is uh, Patriot Pilot, and uh, don't forget, practice makes it better. <laughs> Have a good one.